So this is Andy Irons at Chopu, which is, as a surf photographer, doesn't get much better than shooting Chopu. And Andy was obviously so photogenic and so fun to shoot. And I remember the morning of this photo, there's three boats that shoot during the contest, and one of them's way inside, which is, has, which is where I was, and it looks out at the wave more, so you're not shooting into the barrel. The second boat is in the middle of the wave, and it looks right straight in the barrel. So all the photographers are, are fighting to be in that middle boat because the outside boat kind of misses a lot. So the ideal boat is to be in is the middle one. And so we're standing on the beach and all the photographers were just crying and whining and I don't want to be in the first boat. I don't want to be in the third boat. And then finally I just said, you know what? Screw it, you guys. I'll get in the first boat. So I got in the first boat. And if I hadn't have gotten into that boat, I wouldn't have gotten this photo because other people have this photo, but there wasn't any, there was one other still photographer in my boat, but he shot it too tight or he had a longer lens on. And the other guys were shooting into the barrel, so they didn't see Shane Dorian swimming in the wave face, which is one of the things that makes this photo so good. The other thing is that Andy calls this his life changing, most memorable wave he, that he's ever had in his career. He, he said he made the takeoff frozen in fear. His brother Bruce was was up was on the outside paddling next to him, yelling at him to go, 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 and kept calling him this P-word. And so Andy had to go. And Andy said it was so late. And um, he's been interviewed, and then I had actually talked to him about this to get the whole story because I was so excited about this photo. And he said literally when he was taking off, he was he, he was gonna jump off of his board and just jump off. But he said he was too frozen in fear to do anything except just stand on his board. He grabbed the rail and he basically side, lost his edge and side slipped down the face and then caught, caught his edge as he was getting down. And this is kind of as he first got to the bottom. And then after this photo, he, he pulled up into the barrel and then the spray from the lip hitting the, when the, when the lip hits out in flat water like it does at Chopu, it sends up a big backwash up the face, which turns into the foam ball. And he said that that actually pushed him up the wave face and helped him make this wave, which was, to me was super incredible that he actually used the explosion coming up the wave face to push him up into a different position of the wave. And then he completely disappeared and came 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 flying out of the out of out of the wave with the white with the with the spit and um another funny thing is before this photo this was actually right before they started the contest and they usually start the contest would have been already been running at this time but all the competitors boards were stuck in customs and they were coming out to chopu a little bit later that day so um and shane dorian had been there for like you know, a week or so, and the waves were absolutely firing, and he was, had been breaking all his boards. And so the reason why he's swimming in the wave face is because he was shooting photos with a little Instamatic throwaway camera, one of those kinds you buy and you get to you take it in and they just take the camera and they reprocess it. Before he swam out, he came by our boat and he goes, hey, do any of you guys got a water housing? And I, I, and I immediately lied and said no, because even though it's Shane Dorian, I don't want to give my water housing to anybody in conditions like that, especially, you know, you never know if they're going to lose it. And so, so he was swimming. That's why he was swimming because he didn't want to break any more surfboards and the contest hadn't started yet and he was running out of boards. So Andy calls this as a life changing wave. He, he really couldn't believe he, he made it, but you know, I don't know if he's embellished the story a little bit or not, but, um, it was quite a great story and it was a great wave and, um, and I'm glad I was lucky enough to get in the wrong boat.